is Joseph Madichi. I worked as a detective. I was working in the Zambia Police Service. So I saw my life in the police. It involved me in drinking, smoking. I could limbo, go home drunk. I was smelling nicotine. I was smelling beer. So for me, it was not good. My wife advised me, stop your drinking, stop your smoking. And I came to this church where I surrendered my life to the necessity to the Lord Jesus Christ, that Jesus forgive me for what I've done in the past. My life is not the same. The way I used to be and the way I am, it is quite different. We should follow the ways that the Lord Jesus Christ is to live. thing of being a junior soldier is that I get to learn how to read the Bible, I get to learn how to pray, and I get to learn more of the Salvation Army. We love being junior soldiers in Zambia.
Hi everyone, it's me, your youth director, Ryan Seguin. It's so great to see you all. Now, it's been a challenging time, but I am a super fan of what we've been talking about this month, kindness. Kindness is showing others they are valuable by how you treat them. But I'm curious, what do you think kindness means? Let's hear from you. What is kindness? Thanks. Thank you. Thank you? What else do you think it is? Kind. Kind? What else? To share. To share? What else? To make toys. Make toys is kindness? Yeah. Kindness is caring for others. Kindness can be described in a lot of ways, but one way is being respectful of others even if they are not respectful of you. Help others and make sure everyone feels included and welcome. I share uh, my slime with my sister. I did help it. Kindness means accepting people as they are. And putting others before yourself. Kindness means being nice and helpful to people. Being kindness means helping others that you like. Helping people when they're in need and treating people you want you to be treated. What is kindness and how do we show it? Kindness is shown when people feel sad, hurt, uncomfortable, or just really sad. We can help them by giving them a pat on the shoulder and a hug. This is how you can show kindness. Kindness means fairness, love, and care. Being kind is asking new people in my class if they want to be friends. Today I made two new friends. Kindness is, 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 that, is being nice to people. Kindness means being loving to friends. Kindness is when you give a hug. It's just, I love mommy and my and daddy and I spend my whole family. I what, love everybody in the whole world. What does being kind mean? We love each other. Kindness to me is being there for someone when they're down in the dumps. If somebody can't read something, you can help them. That's being kind. Loving others. Great answers, friends. We've got some smart cookies out there. We've talked about how important it is for us to show kindness and treat others the way we want to be treated. After all, everyone is valuable. Everyone is made in the image of God. And we can show people how valuable they are when we act like super fans. That is, when we treat them with kindness, respect, and love. And isn't that what we so desperately need right now? We can show kindness to people who are a lot like us and to people who aren't really like us at all. We'll get into that a little bit later in our story today. But for now, I want to see what kind of super fans you are with super fun kindness game that we're gonna play. Isn't it fun to smile and laugh? Well, apparently, scientists say it's really healthy for us to smile and to laugh. So, what better way to practice kindness than to make those around us happy. To that end, let's play the Jelly Bean Thank You Game. The game is really simple. If you've done a staring competition before, this is pretty much the same thing. The point of the game is to stare into your partner's eyes and never break your gaze or look away. Yes, you can blink. You're gonna have to. But you also can't laugh or smile. You can talk to each other, but you can't make physical contact, you can't touch them. So stare at each other, don't look away, and try to make your partner laugh.
the first one to smile or laugh loses. The one who loses has to give the winner a jelly bean. Mm-hmm. Tasty treat. For that reason, I recommend that you have a big bag of jelly beans handy. All right, I think it's time for a demonstration. Here we go. Hey, Mike, do you want to play the jelly bean thank you game? For a real jelly bean? What do you think? It's on. Hey, Google, play the final countdown. The final countdown by Europe. Sure, playing on YouTube music. <laughs> you win. Jelly bean? Sure. I give you green. It's the worst. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense? All right, your turn. We'll be back just after this break. Great stuff. I hope that you had fun. Our memory verse this month is Colossians 3, verse 12. If you know it, say it along with me. You are God's chosen people. You are holy and dearly loved. So put on tender mercy and kindness as if they were your clothes. Don't be proud. Be gentle and patient. Now think about that. We have to put on kindness every single day, just like we would put on the clothes that we wear. And we can do it with God's help. Let's sing about that now. Every person is a child of God and worthy of kindness and love. Though we're stuck in challenging and uncertain times, we're not alone. Guelph Citadel is here for you and your family. Please visit our website following the service today to access Sunday School content and information on our virtual studies and hangouts for youth. If you'd like to arrange a virtual hangout with your friendly neighborhood youth director, Ryan, or if you just have any questions, please reach out. As always, you can continue to contribute to our church and pa our Partners in Missions campaign online. Help make a difference in Zambia today. Friends, I have this really cool story to tell you but I can't do it alone. If only there was an incredibly talented group of young people with nothing else to do on a Thursday night but recite and wax poetic Bible stories. <sighs> oh, hey man. Josh, what are you doing here? You know, I had nothing better to do on a Thursday night, you know, lockdown, finish all my schoolwork, so you know. Want to read a play with me? Ryan, there's honestly nothing I'd rather be doing right now, to be honest. Okay. Yo, guys, what's up? Hey, you two. Are you here for the play? Sure, but believe it's biblical storytelling told through Zoom on a Thursday night. 
Hello. Ready to do some acting? It's Ty. Can I do the slate scene one cast intro? We're on Zoom. <laughs> hey, Smara. I'm ready for my close up. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Well, welcome to you. Shh, it's my close up. Oh, I mean. I think that we can still talk while you're doing your close-up. I don't know. If that's a thing to do. Tears for another day. Oops, I thought this was the weekend fan group. No, we're talking about the Bible. Oh, cool. Uh, did you say the Bible? Luke 10, verse 25, right? Yeah. Wait, how did you know that was the verse? Is this the weekend group? No! <laughs> Will there be singing? Uh, maybe, actually. I don't really know. Um, Ryan, what are all these people doing? Well, it's just me and nine of my closest friends. We're going to read a play about a story Jesus told in the Bible. You all interested? I don't know. I have a lot to do tonight. Really? No. <laughs> I mean, yeah. 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 I have nothing better to do tonight. Yeah. So yeah. Let's do it. Hello again, friends. We've been talking about kindness all month in Sunday school. And I know you've come up with some great descriptions of what kindness means. But it's also really important to God that we choose to be kind. And not just to people we like, but also those we don't. We know that's true because of a story Jesus once told in Luke 10.25 the parable of the Good Samaritan. With me today is a talented troupe of famous actors from Hollywood, California, I think, most of them. And they're here to bring you the story of the Good Samaritan in dramatic fashion. So before we get deep into the story, let me introduce the actors. Playing the role of Monsieur Victim is Carter Jones. Hello, hello, hello. Good. I like that. She is holy moly awesome Amara Robbins as the priest. Hey, hashtag blessed. <laughs> yeah. Leave this Levite alone. It's Erica Summers. Well, hello there. Give it up for Sam playing Sam the Samaritan. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> that was good. That was perfect, actually. A couple of robbers are, they're so good that they're going to steal the show. Welcome Josh Summers and Sebastian Trujillo. Hello. Hey guys. Josh, are you wearing sunglasses? Is that? <laughs> I tried to. Tried my best. Okay. I could totally do that. No, it was a choice. Yeah, put them back on. Yeah. I got a bandana here too, if you want me to put that on. I do. I don't know why you even asked. All right. Her motto. You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here unless you can pay. Camilla Chigillo as the innkeeper. Hey. I don't think that's actually her motto, motto by the way, in life. Her motto? What's the motto with her you? Motto? <laughs> okay, no dad jokes. We're not going to do it. All right, checking names and taking numbers. It's the expert of the law, Ella Donker's kid. And last but certainly not least, it's Tyler Jones playing Jesus. What's up, y'all? Tyler, is this uh, your fifth time playing Jesus, or...? Must be. Yeah. It's the good looking -ness. I will be the voice of the storyteller, narrator. My name's Ryan Seaman. Thanks for joining us. I should say, too, that our actors have prepared artistic representations of their character to help you, the viewer, keep track of who they are, as well our names reflect our characters in this story. Oh, okay. Wow. <laughs> oh my God. Nice. I saw I this myself. This is, my, this is just some of my artwork that I've been working on. It's not a big deal, but uh, do you yeah. see the likeness? Right? The hairline's the same. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Our story begins when crowds of people followed Jesus around. They knew he had performed miracles and healed people. They wanted to be near him and hear what he had to say, which made the religious leaders really nervous. You see, they didn't believe that Jesus was the son of God, and they didn't like how everyone seemed to follow him around. So they looked for ways to trick Jesus into saying something that would make him look bad. One day, an expert of the law asked Jesus a question. Teacher. She asked. What must I do to receive eternal life? What is written in the law? Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul. Love him with all your strength and all your mind. And love your neighbor as you love yourself. Jesus told the man that he had answered correctly, but the man wanted to make himself look good to other people. So he asked Jesus one more question. He asked, And who is my neighbor? Jesus chose to answer the expert by telling a story. I am going to tell a story. Let's go. Show on the road, shall we? Let's go. Let's go. Now it's time for us to do a play. The youth of Guelph Citadel give to you. Be kind if you don't mind. In Jesus' story, a man, that's Carter, victim, yeah, was traveling from the city of Jerusalem to Jericho, maybe where he was born and raised, but in the deserts where he spent most of his days. Filling out, maxing, relaxing all cool. And I'm doing some strolling because outside is cool. When a couple of guys, you know, up to no good. Oh, I, I hope they don't make trouble in the neighborhood. Oh, that was unexpected and very good. Victim continued on his journey. Ah, what a lovely day for a stroll. Out of nowhere, robbers appeared and set upon him. I love that phrase, set upon him. That's good. They attacked victim, beat him up, and left him almost dead. Ah, uh, let's say you stop. I know what it's like to lose, to feel so desperate that you're right, and to fail nonetheless. What? Could not live with your own failure. Where did that bring you? Back to me. None of this is in the script. I am inevitable. <laughs> Are you quoting Thanos from Avengers Endgame? Um, no. Let's go. Keep it secret. Keep it safe. That's Lord of the Rings. The poor man was lying there, hurt, on the side of the road. Help me! Someone help me! Help me, please! That's good. What was that accent? Um... Scared? <laughs> <laughs> That's good, Carter. You'll be saying uh, many variations of that line moving forward. It's okay. I'll do something different each time. It's whatever. Just then, victim saw someone walking towards him over the horizon. Oh, look, it's a priest, someone who works in God's temple. Surely a priest will stop and help me, right? Help me! Please. Man, this podcast I'm listening to is so good. Like, I'm so immersed in this, and like, I'm hardly noticing anything going on around me. Yeah. Are you really gonna do me like that? Oh, hi there, young fella. I'd love to help, but I'm just listening to this super religious podcast about helping those in need. You know, you're totally in my thoughts and prayers, sending all the vibes, all the positive vibes, positive vibes, hashtag helping, hashtag sorry, not sorry. Did you just take a selfie with the injured Vic Tim? Oh, give me a break. It's just in the script. And yes, I did. Why does it matter? Unfortunately, the priest didn't help the hurt man and actually crossed the road and walked on the other side. Wait, wait. <laughs> You're telling me the priest didn't even stop when she saw the guy laying on the road? I'm afraid not. Not how I roll. Wow, Sam. Spoiler alert much? 
Jesus continued his story. I'm going to continue my story. The hurt man saw someone else coming down the road, a Levite. And now, you should know, a Levite is someone who worked in God's temple, kind of like a worship leader. You'd expect someone like that to stop and help, am I right? I mean, the poor man is lying here, crying out in pain. <laughs> Let's see what the Levite did next. You got this, Levite? Help me, Levite. You're my only hope. Uh, yuck. Uh, so gross. Sorry, blood makes me faint. Pass. Hard pass. I'm like literally dying. Like right now, I'm literally dying. I'd love to help, but like, look, look, blood is a phobia of mine. And if I were to help you, I might get blood on me. And I'd be even more grossed out. And I'd be known as the blood on the shirt girl. No, I, it would be a disaster for my reputation. Sorry. What? <laughs> okay, that is not very nice at all. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty mean. Very rude. Wait a second. You guys are the ones that did this. <laughs> what you say? Yeah, well, that was uh... Fair enough, still. Uh, still. Still? You're all behaving pretty horribly. Preach. The Levite did exactly what the priest did. When he saw the man, he crossed the street to avoid him and walked on the other side. Are you sure this is a great story about kindness, Ryan? Don't worry, the story gets better, I promise. Well, I sure hope it does. Later on, someone else came down the road. A Samaritan. Was their name Sam? As a matter of fact, yes it was. But here's what you all need to know about Samaritans. Jewish people and Samaritans were related to each other, but they were also enemies. The Samaritans worshipped God differently than the Jewish people did. So Samaritans didn't hang out with Jewish people, and Jewish people definitely did not hang out with Samaritans. Like iPhone and Android? Sort of. Oh, and like alone. Microsoft and Apple? <laughs> OJ2, what are you doing? I thought it was my <laughs> line, I swear. I'm, I'm making a comparison laughing. here. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep on going. <laughs> no, let's do it again. Go from the top. Still, what was mine? <laughs> oh, like Microsoft and Apple? Sure. Like Mandalorians and the Jedi. What? Like the lions and the hyenas. I love Lion King. Um, oh, like Kanye and T Swift. Ooh. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, oh, line is okay. Not okay. Not okay. <laughs> it's fine. I'm fine. It's fine. I'm fine. It's fine. Let's just let's just go. Let's just go on. Oh my word! Let me help you. Here, get on my donkey. So, What'd you call me? A little bit of an aside. Uh, back then, they rode donkeys everywhere because they lived in a desert. And it was 2,000 years ago. Continue. Wow, someone who finally cares. Wait a hot minute. You are a Samaritan, and I a Jew. We are sworn enemies, like Kanye and T-Swift, or the Patriots and Kansas City, or Tom Brady and the rest of the NFL, or, um, Is or... Is that the Autobots? Yeah, yeah, the like fan. <laughs> Just because we disagree or people whom we identify with are, have argued and opposed one another in the past doesn't mean we can't extend the kindness and compassion we all deserve as human beings. Wow. Now that's good. That's really good. Home run. When you put it like that. I mean... And so, in Jesus' story, it was the Samaritan who chose kindness. Not the priest, not the Levite, whom the people expected to do good. Classic story of mine right there. Flip flown. Classic. Sam felt sorry for the hurt man, so she bandaged the man's wounds and then put the man on a donkey and took him to an inn. The next day, the Samaritan paid the innkeeper two silver coins. They told the innkeeper to take care of the man and that they would be back later to pay for the extra expenses. Yarr, yeah, that'll do you, me. What? I didn't have a lot of lines, so I really wanted to make them stand out, you know? Oh, you went pirate. Full pirate. 
I regret nothing. And everyone lived happily ever after, more or less. That's the story. So, what do you think is the moral of the story? Kindness. Yeah, it's, it's definitely something about kindness. Remember the law expert who asked Jesus the question in the first place, who is my neighbor? What did Jesus ask him after the story was over? FYI, Luke 10, 36 to 37. You don't have to tell me where it is in the Bible. I'm the priest. I know where it is. Which of the three do you think was a neighbor to the man who was attacked by robbers? The law expert could see that the answer was clear. It was the Samaritan. No, clearly it was the one who felt sorry for him. Jesus told the man, Go and do as he did. So, what do you think kindness means now? Anyone you'll ever meet is your neighbor. We shouldn't just show kindness to people who are like us. We should show kindness to everyone we meet. Even if they're different from us? Especially if they're different from us. That's the bottom line. Be kind to people who are different from you. So I guess everyone needs to show God's love to their neighbor. Whether, Whether they, they look they like, like you, you, act like you, or believe like you. Let's pray and ask God to help us show that kind of kindness. God, thank you for showing us what kindness looks like through your son, Jesus. Thank you for this story that reminds us to be kind to people who aren't like us. Please help us see everyone we meet as an evil. Help us show them that they are valuable by the way we treat them. We love you and we pray these things in Jesus' name, amen. Well, that's a wrap, folks. Big thanks to our incredible cast of characters. Let's give them a round of applause now. Good job, guys. Mm -hmm. oh, yes. And remember, you can be like Sam too. And today is your day to start. Bye for now. Peace. Bye. Bye. It's important for us to show kindness to other people because everyone is important to God. Everyone is valuable to him. That's true about people who are similar to you, and it's also true of people who are different from you. We need to remember this. Be kind to people who are different from you. We can look at the way Jesus lived and see how he showed kindness to everyone. He hung out with people who others had forgotten, people who were sick, and people who had done wrong things in the past. Jesus even made a Samaritan the hero of the story that we told today. Someone who most Jewish people would have seen as an enemy. And when Jesus died on the cross, he did it for everyone. We should show kindness to every person we meet, just like Jesus did. We can show how much you love God by the way that you treat others. Don't know where to start? Try doing this. Ask questions to understand people who are different from you. Show them that they matter to you. Think about what's best for them, not just what's best for you. Listen, thanks for joining us today, friends. Don't forget to check out our Sunday School videos and content at guelphsa.ca slash kidsathome. Have a great and safe week. And we'll see you on April 11th for another Family Worship Sunday. Goodbye and God bless. Got a rhythm in my heart and in my soul. Got a reason for this joy I can't control. I want to sing.
I know.